Oh, so wow. yeah, this is wow. I, I haven't actually seen uh, this title screen in ages, to be honest. Uh, I'm wincing at all the logos. I used to think that was so cool. Now this song, everyone... this song's a lot more triumphant than I remember it. <laughs> Much well, more triumphant, yes. For one thing, it's not RTP music. Aw, oh, damn. That Amanda art. That brings me back. I have oh, no look. idea where I actually got that background. No oh, idea look, it's whatsoever. The, it's the warning screen. I remember this. Seizure warning. Yes, that, that, ha that happened a lot in the early days when if you uh, exited out before you actually closed and you were in full screen, your screen resolution would be set to uh, really, really small. So small you couldn't get it back up because the window to actually manage that would just be way, way out of bounds with the screen. Oh god. It, it hit so, me up a few times. So I'm noticing my my animation's been omitted already. That's we're off to a good start here. <laughs> uh, I had dial up at the time, so I just didn't have your animations. <laughs> no one did. Like, ah go I on like new no, go on Newgrounds and watch it and then play the game. I like your animation though. It was like what song did he use again? That uh, uh, just, Mega Man song? Yeah, something off of OC Remix. So, yes. Something I stole from OC Remix and uh, some things I stole from DDR. Just whatever. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, God. I, You know, I have mixed feelings about this introduction. And uh, at the f you at have first... mixed feelings about this introduction. <laughs> well, the thing is, though, at first it was really cool seeing all these planets and all these stars flying around. Hey, but I've then seen... at the same time, though, at it influenced so many other people to do shit like this that when I was still in my uh, video reviewing phase of crappy RPGs I had to sit through like what 10 minutes of crappy introduction every time I had how to play long a does game. this one go on for I forget it goes on for most of the video actually. now I oh, haven't God. seen this intro so can you guys give me like a one sentence overview of what the hell's going on uh crystals backstories okay crystals <laughs> got it <laughs> <laughs> so, like, remember how you remember in the original, like, uh, all we had was KW walking around a random empty... Dream island. World, yeah. Yeah. And this you, is... You get that unwinnable just... battle. <laughs> this is kind of like... Before that. Okay. It's supposed to flesh out the backstory of the KWRPG universe. And it... I don't know, I thought it was really cool back then. I recall the crystals here linked to the crystals in the well that got brought up once in the original game and then forgotten about. <laughs> Well, the original game wasn't all that great about a uh, consistent plot. Yeah. yeah. It was mostly a <laughs> comedy in some ways, yeah. Sometimes it was like a weird horror twist at the end, though. It's like, <laughs> oh, we're all having a fun time, but everyone died. Never mind, sorry. Do, everyone, do. And everyone died. Oh, look at that. <laughs> now, that's a fancy title screen if I ever saw one. Mm. Dream Edition. I miss that old <laughs> font. I really do. Oh, it got way more Japanese. <laughs> oh god, you to, don't You no. wanna tell them oh, about the secret no, behind those no. Japanese letters? I'm not looking at this, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> those aren't actually Japanese letters. It's <laughs> a Japanese a font, shape. but I just retyped the English phrase with a Japanese font, if I recall correctly. They don't actually mean anything, it's just a bunch of nonsense. I see what but you did there, it's all kind of But it impressed everyone so much. <laughs> well, yes, that was back in the days when Japanese stuff was so exotic and whatnot, and not really as available as it used to be. Mm. Oh, oh, uh, and here we have, uh, Angel remade... Kirby. Hey, that's spoilers. Yeah. Oh, oh. Come on, everyone knows it. <laughs> well, in the original, you didn't know it was Angel Kirby, right? It, you just started in a random island. Mm-hmm. I mean, you saw Angel... Oh, here we are. Here's that random island I kept talking about. Now, is this a remake of the, a few uh, the original behind, floating think. island where you fought the ghost? Oh, oh there's yeah. the ghost. Okay. My question was answered. There goes yes, the fight. It's demoted to a cutscene now. <laughs> and now we can oh, see uh, Amanda the Hamster's uh, amazing face set in action. Yes, yes. I'm so surprised she actually let she actually helped me continue it. Actually, yeah. To there's this like day. a lot of new. There's like a lot of new art in a DE. Yeah, and she had a better scanner too, so you can tell when the old art ends and the new art begins. <laughs> yeah. Did she rescan those pictures or something? I don't think she still had them. I should have asked. <laughs> oh. So did you just have to get, like, new copies of the images? No, they're the same. They're old ones. Oh, okay. I think the only thing I ended up doing was I made a... What was it? I made a 
blank one on each tile set. So I think in Dark Kirby's, cert, think, think in Dark Kirby's, there was certain times where if it, the text wasn't, the background wasn't black, there would be like transparencies right in the middle of his face, oh. giving this ethereal presence. So I fixed that. Okay. And you, you are currently being blocked by a butterfly. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I did not know that butterfly had solid on it. I think if you actually had a item called the butterfly net, you could catch them. They would be added to your inventory. Oh god. This game had everything, didn't it? Hello. And there's, uh, there's Hyper Kirby. Mm-hmm. You know, I never really understood Hyper, Kirby, Hyper Kirby's character in the original In this game, game he's much more of a mountaineering I, type of guy. I don't yeah. know what he was either. He had That's sparkles. There. I think he had he, a machine gun. I think he uh, <laughs> well, really? he was usually the that. best reason, but then sometimes he wasn't. I don't know. Yeah, he's the guy that yelled "shut up" at people. Yeah. yeah see, like I said, like norm nine out of ten times he's the voice of reason, but then one out of those ten times he just I should have made him rude, him, honestly. The funny thing is, like in the original game, he was like I said, he used a machine gun, and <laughs> when you're playing DE, you expect that, but well, in this game, he just. Like kicks people like uh, in, like in Bud's intro. Yeah. Well, he kicks okay. them so hard that their <laughs> memories fly out, and he steals them. Well, he's, he's like the. Oh flash. wait, wait, wait! Here's my favorite. Here's my favorite sign. Air ride stuff. Yes. Good old signs. Fucking bandits. You know, once this game came out, every fucking RPG I reviewed. How had is that not a hazard? <laughs> you know, lose all your HP. So wait, yeah. if he doesn't use guns anymore, are his weapons like shoes? At yes. first, yeah. There was like later chapters where everything would be all techno and he'd revert back to guns, if I recall correctly. Kind of like the or shoes. Maybe it's like that because you just realize, oh wait, Hyper Kirby wow, used guns. Wow, am I actually tutorializing with the sign? Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yes, given, you given people watching this the full experience. <laughs> Some people aren't in the know. That well line was like me. <laughs> Well, the thing is, like, I forgot that all these signs were in the game, and the su and like the save point, mo like, uh, like monologues at you, and I completely forgot to pick up the cherry up there. I, I see your old files. Hey, this this is moved. I think. Yeah. Well, to be fair, the original yogurt yards was just like what one map. Yeah. It was very flat for mountains. We're we're seeing dark really early now. Mm, he was just added in, wasn't he? Well, no, he uh, was he was a hidden like character a in Zebland. version, isn't it? I remember originally he was a hidden character. Yeah. Mm. Yes, he was. In the original okay. game, I think there were two dark Kirby's. There's dark Kirby and black Kirby or something. Oh, that's uh, the that first was game. the first. Yeah. Uh, oh, when when you guys say game. original, you mean the original RPG two? Original two, yeah. Okay, yes. Well, there's like also this is like from the website, and afterwards I slightly updated my own version, where like Dark came in slightly later and like saved the day after like one small encounter and whatnot, and that was his introduction. <laughs> now, right now, now he's just kind of here, and I'm like, well, I probably should have done it the other oh, way. Oh, you, you just get him right away, huh? Yes. Yeah. Interesting. And he's a really good character. He's broken. He's broken. <laughs> Suddenly, this scene, over here. This scene is a lot more uh, intense than the original. And check out not, that seagull up is there. Is it not just a button? It's still a button. Check out the seagull up there, he's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 14 year old me's sense of humor. I don't know. I had a lot. I had a lot of fun just reading the random shit Hyper says during the fire sequence. Oh no, my pipe collection. What? Oh, and now we can see MW's glorious monster art. I did it on like Olakaki BBS, honestly. <laughs> I I know this song, but what is it? Uh, it's... Paper Mario. Yeah, I was gonna say Mario RPG or something. Mm, well, it is a Mario RPG technically. Yeah. I remember, like, the only complaint I had about Dream Edition was the monster art. I tried my best. <laughs> yeah. If, oh, uh, for some reason, the uh, frame rate dropped horribly during this part. Like, just look, like, the animation just became really slow. You mean this battle? Yeah. It's probably the red transparent over the screen. No, actually, I figured it out later. It's because like something else was starting up in the background. Yeah, there it Filter is. Keys? 
Filter keys, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, the field, and then after filter keys is gone, the animation just speeds up immensely. Fire Wisp collapses. <laughs> I remember KW actually being really annoyed whenever someone called his uh, blade a sword, even in real life. He used to have arguments on IRC about it. Well, I think it has to be clarified only because there's a separate sword ability. Is there? Yeah, Sword Kirby. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Sword Kirby. <laughs> but he's Kirby Warrior, he's... Actually, he's a, he's a mage, not an actual warrior. He I'm is the mage off. archetype. Now you're, now you're blowing funny. my mind, man. <laughs> well, you'll figure out. You'll find out in like a few more seconds, I think. Was it after this battle or was it the next battle? I don't remember. I remember nothing. <laughs> are Good you answer. willful? Are you are you willfully forgetting these things? I willfully forget a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it was the next battle. Like, the only thing I really remember were, like, the backgrounds I did. Like, I painted those myself. Uh. I think, uh, Waddle Da <laughs> actually helped me make that certain effect. Waddle Duda? Yes, him. Alright, it's after this battle. <laughs> God, RPG Maker battles are always so boring to play. Well, here's the thing, like, the 2000 engine, it was a lot more malleable than 2003. Yeah. Like, yeah, um, I, I could actually... It was just text, so I could like go in there and like create the, all these complex sequences, and that was just stuff that you could not do in 2003. Because it had to be animated on screen. Well, even oh. like getting a custom attack to have like a certain damage value, it was, it was just a pain in the once ass. you had to do a custom thing. How do you have it target a specific creature? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> You know, DE also started another trend I like to call tutorials everywhere. I think yeah, that was in the game design at the time, anyway. Like yeah, even in professional like, games. E even then, though, in RP in fan RPGs, every RPG had a tutorial telling you how to hit attack and how what like what characters did anything. I know this because I fell for the tra same trap with my RPG. Oh God, I this! I thought this came later. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, it was right here. And look, yeah, KW is a mage character. Those numbers have no basis in reality. What am I? Th what was I thinking? <laughs> well, he has Mag Four. But what does that mean? Four magic, man. Uh, four magic. Out of what? <laughs> <laughs> Hyper Kirby has no magic. Why does he have so much MP when he has no magic? I think for stealing. I guess. And there's Dark Kirby of with like insane stats all around. And the counter. Fucking counter. That move just breaks the game once you figure out how to use it correctly. Thank god you didn't put no on top. Something I really something I keep forgetting to do whenever I enter a new area. I don't know, you wrote so much flavor text into DE that like, I most forgot people about so much of the flavor text, yeah. Most people wouldn't even notice these, like on a uh, on a first playthrough. Like, Hyper Kirby said over there that he found stuff, uh, uh, KW said he found stuff under Hyper Kirby's bed, and I was actually expecting to get stuff there after I used that uh, scan attack. I think that was something KW himself like told me about the original game or something. Oh, maybe it was in the original game. An ice beam. <laughs> what the hell, ice beam? That was his attack. Like once you get it, this entire segment might as well be well. Use ice beam. You've been playing for ten minutes. Yeah, I have. A lot the of the paper text is the same. Yeah, you copy pasted events. Teleport down there onto the stick onto the chairs. Might as well sit down while the big bat gives you his like life story. 
a large paycheck for the job of burning down a random dude's house. You know, now that I think about it, Hyper Kirby's house is half underground, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. How do you burn down the dirt? Uh, wood is wood, I suppose. Yes. And Here's you say it's broken, you did do 5 damage, that was it. Well, once, like, uh... Once Dark Kirby actually gets more HP. Since that move is based entirely off his maximum and minimum HP. Like, if he had only, like, what? 5 HP, he'd do, like, 40. And that's almost, uh, as much as Ice Beam, I think. Yeah, almost as much as Ice Beam. And it only gets stronger later on. Mm-hmm. He is a bit like of a crutch character for the first chapter. Yeah. I also like how you redrew the battle backgrounds. <laughs> oh, the fire randomly stops after he dies. Splush. <laughs> I recognize this song. Is it Chrono Trigger? It's slowed down, I think it's Chrono yeah, Trigger. Yeah, I think is it, it is. <laughs> oh god. And that's where I end the first video. <sighs> oh my. So, what do you think, bud? Uh, it's interesting. I I feel like I'm in a whole new world. <laughs> a familiar yet strange world. Yes, yes. Where's the part where I'm in it? That's where it's important. I oh, don't. God. I think I stopped <laughs> just before Crazy Duck, if I recall correctly. Shame yeah. on you. Shame on you. You were programmed in there, and you had like half of your skills working, but I didn't get that far. Kinda of too bad. Though. Everyone <laughs> not amused. Everyone Bud was like the most popular character in uh two. Literally, everyone loved the shit out of him. And nah, Kabuku game... was much more broken, so Nah yeah, but he wasn't like Bud's brand of hilarity. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, I didn't write Kabuku. Mm. <laughs> how much of the game how much of the original game did you write? Uh the funny parts.